It's the talent show that's turning into a drama. Two more acts were voted through to the finals tonight, but there's only one in the headlines. Susan Boyle, the show's overnight sensation, has gone from tabloid darling to villain in one turn of the printing press. In the sun today, she was pictured facing the police in a hotel car park after what's alleged to have been a four-letter tirade in the lobby. Well, I think Susan is under huge pressure, much more than maybe most people realise. You know, she's gone from anonymity to being one of the biggest stars on the planet in four weeks. And essentially, she's a, a very nice middle-aged lady from a small Scottish village who is finding the pressure really tough to deal with. I've been told she's been in floods of tears. Yesterday, she was actually going to leave the show, packed her bags to go, because she couldn't see the point in going on if all she's going to get all, all this sniping and I think that look, I used to be in the tabloid business I understand she's a hot story but I think there's a lot of cynicism now building up about Susan a lot of unnecessary criticism about her and we should give her a break she's two days away from the biggest show of her life the biggest moment of her life and if you don't want to vote for her fine but the sniping I think has gone a bit too far. It was Piers Morgan's praise for 12-year-old Shaheen Jaffagoli that was reported to have triggered another outburst from Miss Boyle. But Shaheen counts her as a friend. Susan Boyle's really nice, you know. Um, she's staying you know, at the same hotel as me and I see her every day and she's really nice to me and um, we have breakfast together and I feel her sing and she's amazing. This is Stavros Flatley, the father and son dance team who'll also be back for Saturday's final. Pressure and stress? Not really. Yeah, but every time we, we we go past the stage, we're just surprised that we've got to where we are. You, you can see on our faces that we're shocked. L Leggy was really shocked. And I, I mean, you we took a big deep breath when, when they called our names. Do you think, did you think we'd get this far? I don't think so, no. But now we are, then I don't really mind what happens now because we've made it this far, so... I know that we're in the final now, so you know not a lot of people can say, I've been to the final and Britain's got talent. So <laughs> I'm happy that we can say that. Susan Boyle remains the odds-on favourite, but win or lose, she's already learned that fame and popularity often come at a price.